Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and I'm today doing a review slash comparing two printers, the Epson EcoTank M1120 monochrome printer with the Brother Pocket Jet 773. Um, I'm doing the comparison because I've had the two for a while. Um, I've been using the pocket jet for about two years, but I I used one before that. Like I've been using the pocket jet for a while, for about eight years altogether. But this particular one I've had for about two years. The Epson I've had for about a year now, and I was just gonna go through and tell y'all the pros and cons to each one, which one I like better, and yeah, that's about it. Um, I think that's about it. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through. I'm going to print something out for y'all on both. Show y'all how each one prints and which one is better to me. Yep, that's about it. If you find anything out that you like in here, you know, like and subscribe to the channel. That would be nice. Otherwise, thank you. Yeah. And, okay, so today, um, what I'm going to do is first I'm about to go through the specs on... The Epson printer, well not the specs, because I don't really know the specs like that, to be honest. This is the Epson printer. This is my brother printer, which I will have to connect because the Wi-Fi thingamabob isn't working. Um, but this is the picture I'm going to print out on both. I'm going to connect, the, after I print it out on this one, I'm going to print it out on this one using the USB cord. Now, um, so... Let me print that out, and while it prints out, let me tell y'all about it. So, print, uh, episode 20. Now, the thing about this uh, particular printer, it, it, in my opinion, it goes really quick. Now, I paid $5.92 for the printer. I didn't turn it, I didn't turn it the right way. But, you can clearly see how that prints out. Um, fantastic prints for uh, a tattoo. These are really small though. But, um, you can see every little detail that you want to get on both tattoos, shading and everything. Now, the, the printer itself cost $5.92. It came with a ring of paper and a bottle of ink. This is the bottle of ink. Um, and then you just put it in there. And, but this bottle of ink literally lasts, I don't know, 5,000 prints or something. That's what they that's what they're projected to last. I know it lasts me at least a couple of thousand tattoos. And this is the this is the paper that it goes on. And the paper is kind of not that pricey, but it's up there. Uh thirty dollars a ring, I think. <coughs> and yeah, so that's the. I have a, I have a whole note that I gotta tell y'all. So now, the ink does cost one hundred and fifty dollars a bottle, but when you spend the five ninety two on the printer in the first place, you do get a bottle of ink and a ream of paper, um, and you can get that at JokerTattoos.net or Joker Tattoo Supplies. I'll put a link in the description plus show y'all. It comes with stencil prep. And it also comes with the bottle of ink. I'll put a, a link to where I got mine from, which was jokertattoos.net, I do believe. That's the website. But I'll put that in next one. Um, now, loading the paper is super easy. You don't have to do anything but put the paper in the loader, and it'll take it. And super good with shades. Now cut it off there. Because she can edit that out. Okay, so the brother printer initially costed me, I think it was like six hundred dollars. Now you can get one used for four twenty two, buy one brand new for five ninety two. Initially when I bought it it was six hundred dollars. Now they do work good for outlines. They work great for outlines. 
Like, it works exceptionally well power lines, actually. Now, um, because my, well, they decided to go ahead and turn it. And, It, it prints at 300 DPI, which is that's per inch. So 300 DPI, um, which helps it get some kind of shade. And it only printed the top version. It only printed the lines out on it, on this particular one. But loading this, now, now for, the male line, that's not all that bad. Like, you could definitely use that as a decent stencil. But in my opinion, the other one is... It's not my opinion. That one is just much better. But um, on names and outlines, this works wonders. It'll save you a lot of time. It'll... Um, will help. It will be quite helpful. Now, the thing also, too, is that um, this is... Uh, each packet of paper is like fifty dollars for a hundred sheets. Now you can use this sheet of paper if you start at the bottom, work your way up. You can probably use this sheet of paper for like four tattoos or three tattoos or something. But loading the paper takes a lot of time. This is really great for traveling though, because this is mobile, so it it goes wherever you go. So that that is super beneficial. When you're doing a name or something to that extent, I'll just print out this whole page. So when you're doing like a name or something though, this page, this uh, particular printer works great, especially with outlines, names, anything solid. The solid colors, and it gets a little messy when you put the stencil on. They do apply the same though, so when you use stencil stuff and you put it on, they do apply the same. Now, one of the downfalls to the other printer, one of the one of the downfalls to the other printer though, is that is that if it's slightly colored on the other printer at all, if there's any color at all, and it's not solid black and white then it will not print out at all, almost. It'll only print out black and white. This one, if it's colored, it will print a shade, maybe like a light shade. But, if you would like that, like if you had both, like in my, in, my, in my situation, I had both, both sheets, or both printers, so, um, you see it prints the names out really well. Now this is a this is an issue. This the way that it does this. Sometimes you'll get creases in the paper. Now you don't have to worry about that with the other one, but the creases in the paper are common if this folds over in the back, and especially if you use the page twice, it, it, it does happen frequently. Um, but yeah, but so you got the each time you do this, you have to load the paper in and make sure it's perfectly even. Now, if this says data on it, when you load it in there, if you don't load it in there perfectly, you know what I'm saying? As soon as it goes in, it's going to make a mess of the print because it's gonna print out crooked. I happen to load it in there perfectly that time. A lot of practice, years of practice, but I was just showing y'all that, you know what I'm saying? If that is up there, it's gonna print. Now to print out, or finish printing out whatever it didn't finish printing out on the first one, because obviously this came off the page a little bit. Um, it's mobile, it runs through its own app, and through this app you can make altercations, or altercations, alterations through it, making it grayscale, making it monochrome, you can invert it. You can do a lot of things with this, um, to in, in order to help you get a, a good print and make it better. So I, sometimes when I have a picture, I'll bring the picture over to this app and change the picture over to a monochrome picture or a grayscale picture and then take it back over to the other page and print it out from there because you cannot print on this printer from this app.
and you cannot print a regular sheet of paper on this printer and any other app, like paint or anything like that. That's where I do my prints from. Also from Procreate. I also go from Procreate. Then also, hmm, 300 BPI. Okay, yeah, no, that's it. Well, in conclusion, my preference of printer is the Epson. Um, you get more for your money. You save money over the long run. And in general, you save money over the long run. And you spend less money up front. And the prints are by far, I mean, by far, uh, superior. When you look at the just the two lines, when you're looking at just the two lines, the, the prints are by far superior. Um, this one is definitely doable. This one, I don't think so, so much from this particular print. But look at the details on those. Look at the detail on this. Like, it, it's far superior in that, in that regard. In regards to names and so on, those are debatable. But my per personal preference is I use the Epson printer a lot more often. And if anything comes up, I run out of ink or something, I didn't realize I was low. And I always use this as backup or if I'm traveling and I have to I have to leave and go on a whim, I'll take the brother printer with me because that's a lot to carry. So with that being said, I would prefer to use the Epson. Thanks for watching.